see dead people. They walk around like, like real people. No, really, I don't see dead people, but I do hear a thunderstorm brewing outside. And um, let me just say that it is the most terrifying thing that my ears have ever experienced. Sound wave wise, of course. Duke, shut up. Ugh. No one's gonna save you. My stupid dog keeps panting because it's thundering outside and lightning's crashing. And of course, I have to hear Duke, go lay down. God, dogs, I hate them. I hate, oh. Okay, I don't really hate them, but. But it's just so stupid how they just have to pant when you don't want them to. Duke, go lay down. Let's get the fuck out of here. God, go on. Get out of here. I said get! Stupid dog. Get out of here. Get out of here. Excuse me one moment, please. And we're back. Oh. Sometimes I wonder. Thank God he's out of my room right now. So anyways, my weekend was pretty interesting. Yeah. Well, um, I went to this one casino with my aunt. And, well, I was babysitting the whole time, so... It wasn't really, you know, like... Ooh, yay, but I mean I, I don't mind babysitting my my precious little pumpkin love Bella, but it um I I just haven't been I wasn't feeling good that day, so I don't know. But the highlight of that trip was in the arcade there, because I love arcades. It's so fun to play games and win tickets and steal other kids' tickets and cash them in for prizes. Anyways, so there was this guy there at the ticket table or whatever where you cash in your tickets for prizes. And oh my god. He was the cutest guy I have ever seen in my whole entire life. I forgot his name though, but still, he was so adorable. I just, I just wanted to take him home and cuddle with him and I miss him already. It's a shame, it really is. So then, the whole week I've been thinking about him, but um, today I hung out with my friend Chris. Yep, I was excited about that because I haven't seen him in forever, and he's leaving for college. And I also hung out with my friend Todd today. But before I hung out with Todd and Chris together, I um went to Hardee's and Kmart and Walmart and other those places um, with Chris, and we stopped at Hardee's, like I said, and they're at the cash register was the cutest guy I have ever seen. <laughs> he was so adorable. I just wanted to take him home and cuddle with him. <sighs> he was so <sighs> amazing. Anyways, <clears throat> I forgot his name. But still, he was so cute. Okay, I am so going to marry him and the guy at the arcade in Orlando Bloom. And I'm also going to marry Gerard Way. And I'm going to marry Kevin Jonas. 
I am going to marry Jared Leto. I am going to marry Scarlett Johansson. Um, let's see on my list. List, list. Ben Burnley from Breaking Benjamin. Um, I'm also going to marry, well, I did, I already married George Clooney, but still I'm going to marry him too, again, and a million other guys. Why do I have to love so many people? I mean, seriously, why? Why do I love so many people? I don't know. I just like people so much, and they make me smile, and they make me happy. That giggly kind of happiness that flows through like butterflies in your stomach. <laughs> oh, they all give me butterflies in my tum-tum. So, for now, I'm polyamorous as my friend Emmy likes to call me, then I will soon be a polygamist. For now I'm polyamorous, soon to be polygamous. Yes, it's going to be one big happy family, and I'm going to have one long ass last name. Hmm. Oh well, it's like big love all over again. And still, You know, I, I have this theory, now that I think about it. I understand why people turn into a polygamist. I mean, you're all one big happy family. You all are married to each other. So basically, you're not, like, cheating, or you're not, you know, fighting over anybody. You're just married to each other. Plain and simple as that. I mean, that's why relationships last longer in a family of polygamists because people they're all together togetherness love peace happiness joy which is why I am going to be a polygamist mm-hmm and I'm going to like it I don't care who says anything about it I don't care if you think it's wrong because to me, polygamy is love. It's big love. Speaking of big love, I love that show. That show is like the best ever, next to Supernatural and One Tree Hill, of course, but still. It's so surprising, and it really makes you think, too, when you watch it. Wow, I sound like one big advertisement. But still. If you haven't checked out the show, it's on HBO. It's really good. Watch it. Click it on. And you'll see why I like it. But if you don't like it, that's cool. But still, keep it to yourself. Keep it to yourself. I don't want to hear it. Anyways, back to my little discussion. Why do I love so many people? <laughs> Sometimes I just... I just feel that maybe if everybody loved each other, we would all get along in this world. I mean, not everybody can love everyone, but still, if we try, there'll be a lot more peace. Love equals peace. Peace equals happiness. And happiness means smiles all around. No bombs, no threats, no killings. It's all love. You know what I'm saying. <sighs> I enjoy this conversation we have with each other. This video blog is really, really making me more excited about my life day by day because I just realized how much of an interesting person that I am. And before, I used to think, whatever, I'll, I'll just end it all seeing as I'm so not worth anything but yet I am worth something otherwise why would I be here still I mean if I wasn't here I sure as hell couldn't love everyone if I wasn't here I sure wouldn't have been able to fall in love with the arcade guy or the Hardys guy if I wasn't here I wouldn't be talking to you my most important audience that I've ever had to give a speech to and fact I am no good at speeches 